and going to the angle north south and turning them, and turning them on their side. Okay. So that let's see, when you feet that way. Okay. So all this will probably be like this more so than by the time you get to this bit. So I want to roll the hips here, here, here. Okay. I want to trap this arm. And for me, I want to get them to turn one way or another, okay? Being flat here is not a big favor of people that are on the bottom, okay? Because here, if you apply enough pressure, you can get them to panic and so forth. This is what I call an angled north-south, okay? I don't want to be here because I'm too parallel with him. And I don't want him to grab me and just roll like some guys can do. I want to be here and my feet are wide, okay? So I'm at an angle. My right hand is blocking. Just doing this right here at his hip, okay? And this hand is controlling that arm right there because I want to keep driving it forward, okay? I want to step over his head here and I'm going to turn him on his side, okay? As I get the arm, okay? Remember we did the head scissor. We did the step over Kimura like this, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the arm lock, okay? So, will you pick that up? Yes, sir. So as here, if you notice, my hip's connected to his hip. My left hand is taking his head off line. I go right under it. I'm going to switch the cross face. I'm going to roll the hip, and I'm going to block the hip here. Okay, as I go here. I want to roll his face with my hip, okay? So that I could turn him on his side. The way I turn him on his side, you notice I have an overhook with this left arm and I keep the pinch. So as I step over with my left foot, I kick him this way and I get the Kimura grip, okay? From here, what we're gonna do is, the objective is to get your right leg on the inside of his arm, okay? How I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna sit right here on his head, come over, and this leg is the leg separate. I call it the separator because it separates two people. Genius. So, he grabs, okay? What this does is it blocks this hand as I pull this one back. I want to keep my knee open on his face because it controls the rotation, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this, just locking it out as I begin to separate the arms, okay? Because what separates his arms is not the leg. The leg just locks his far arm in place. Yes, he can do whatever he wants. If he pinches his elbow, it's even better for me, okay? Because here, this is what separates his arm is this. This doesn't do anything. I don't need to kick it out, okay? I don't need to do this and all that. I need to control his face, control his arm, hold to my chest. As I, my shit in here, because I really don't want to do this either, because this is going to give me a foot cramp and he can scoop under, and I don't want that either, even though that I'm here, okay? I'd rather be here. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to tilt to the right just so that my knee can open on his face and thigh, okay? And I'm just going to lock this in place. He's kind of going to have his hands in a good grip. I don't care whether he has sleeves or whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, none of that really matters to me. And this foot is going to be hooking just in case he wants to walk his hips away to the right. Walk his hips to the right. I hook right there, okay? Because all I'm doing is, is that I'm separating his hands. Keep your hands together. doesn't matter. I lock this in place, and I'm just going to go... Right. And then I fold it right here and pull it. Okay. You notice how the knees are wide? Okay. No more pinching the knees because his head can rotate and he can get out. Here, he's not going to get out. Okay. And I want to keep this arm tight and my hips in. The next thing is your head, your chin is tucked. I see a lot of people trying to get their shoulders to the mat. No, you want your low back to the mat. Lock this, pull it, and I want my lower back to the mat as I unfold it. That make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. Scoot your feet down that 
Yes, sir. Everybody's going to start with the bottom person on their right side. I'm going to start in this position here. Okay. As I got, as I have the Kimura grip right here, okay, I can get my knee over, or what I can do is I can just step, step here and drop the thigh on his face. If the arm is just dangling right there, I can begin to get my knee in right here. Okay? Pull my foot up, step. It comes over. This leg is separate. It just locks it in place. This is pulling to the chest. This locks it, sorry. Locks it as I go. And that's it. Does that kind of make sense, guys? Here? Because what you're doing is, is separating the arms. You don't want to over pull, over strain. You just want to separate the arms. Also, keep in mind here, you want to control his head and chest on his uh, elbow. If you're going to do this, He's gonna turn and go flat. And then I have to let go, okay? So you wanna use this right here. Lock this, he's gonna save his hand. I'm gonna frame right here, open the knee, and I'm gonna go. Back. chest is preventing him from rolling rolling back because also remember this if, if the arm is here okay and you look at that arm doing that you ask yourself is he even alive because that arm is doing nothing so that arm's going to do something what would you do with that arm okay. that arm's going to do something you want to get on that head so that your left leg can come over here frame Because typically when I get Philip in this position, he starts to save his top arm with his bottom. Because he knows what's coming. Yes. That's what happened. No, this. This separates. Okay. And the lower back goes. I don't want to do this. Down. Does that make sense, guys? So. You want this shin in his bicep, inner elbow. You want the Kimura grip the whole time. You hold it and I roll it forward too. So it puts pressure on the inner bicep or inner, inner elbow and my knee is controlling his head. This can always hook his hip. If he starts to roll up, yes, I can do this. Because this puts a lot of pressure on his shoulder also. Because this turns it into Kimura. Okay guys? Try Start however you want to, but the bottom person is going to be on their right side. You're attacking the bottom person's left side. Okay? Let's do it. One, two, three. Switch it up so that everybody's with high-low, high-low. Yeah. 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 Yeah.